Welcome, welcome, welcome back. The investor guy making money, make money. That's my thing. Let's talk about dumb money. Retail traders. That's what they call us. 1% at the top, controlling 99% of the wealth in the world, pretty much. And, you know, at the end of the day, it is definitely sort of disrespectful that they label us the market, the stock market that takes 90% of the money uh, in 90 days from 90% of the people from the, you know, who invest. And we're dumb money. Hmm. I like that. Think about that. Dumb money. Like the black sheep of the family. Well, I always say to people, you know, if you had sheep and you had a black sheep, that actually wouldn't be less valuable than the predominantly white sheep. It'd be more valuable because it'd be unique, right? So, all right. Be happy that we're dumb money. Retail traders. That's what we are. That's what you want to call us. That's cool. Let it be that. Before I begin, though, always be looking forward. You can never plan the future by the past. That is a quote. And what does it mean to me? Always be looking forward. You can never plan the future, uh, you know, in the past, right? By doing that. So wherever we are, if we're working a minimum wage job, you know, whatever our situation is, you know, whatever that situation is, it doesn't have to be the end result. Everyone can have different goals, different ambitions, and we could all achieve something. Now, I'm on a mission to prove once and for all whether dumb money retail traders can pick themselves up and accomplish what the people at the top in their glass towers throwing rocks assume that we cannot. They want to protect us from having the ability to invest our own money. And that's funny to me. When I used to make money from real estate, not, not saying I don't make money from real estate now, but it, when I was a younger person and I was making money from real estate, going to collect uh, you know, checks from properties and things like that, I would put money into banks, <laughs> into banks. And the interest rate should be criminal, right? should be criminal but what happened to me i found out you could put money into other investment vehicles same thing the bank does the bank takes your money they invest it they you know supposedly loan it out i'm not sure they even do that but hey whatever they say they do behind closed doors we gotta take it with a grain of salt but when we look at our accounts and we notice you know, a hundred dollars in the account, a thousand dollars in the account, ten thousand in the account. Look at your interest. I'm not gonna do the math right now. We'll have a whole long video going through all that. But you look at whatever account you have and see what interest you make, if any, right? There is such a thing now as negative interest rate where you kinda gotta pay <laughs> to keep your money in the bank. And if you have your money outside of the bank, then they're gonna criminalize that behavior in a minute. But let's not, you know, go down that path this series here i'm gonna share with you going from working at a mcdonald's or any place minimum wage doing whatever it takes maybe having some peanut butter sandwiches saving up a hundred dollars whatever it takes right maybe another hundred here or there then adding money to that over time but being in charge of your own money on your own phone apple or android doesn't matter what phone you got let's see how dumb dumb money is when we make our own choices when we apply just a little little bit we apply a little well, they're in their big you know ivory towers with all their big mathematical equations and computational stuff of stuffs cool beans retail traders we already witness the power of retail traders as hedge funds who have been doing this for as long as they you know longer than we have been around they've been doing this basically destroying companies and profiting from that destruction but let's not 
talk about something like a company. 38,000 plus people worked at AMC. Hedge funds were shorting this thing into the ground, hoping for it to die due to COVID and other things which just popped up. Black Swan event, whatever. You know, 38,000 people, smart money, wouldn't care if they were homeless, unemployed, without work. They're profiting from the demise of 38,000 plus people's jobs. The amount of people AMC employed and dumb money, apes, the apes of AMC, stepped in, started going against the shorts and profited in the process. We beat the hedge funds. Retail traders did that. Yes, we know some things will have to, it's, there's a tipping point. Some things will have to come to a head, guaranteed. Last man, you know, in, yeah, maybe you'll lose. I'm not, I'm not sure how that's gonna all work out. This is not financial advice. This is a journey. And I wanna thank you. If you can share this video, empower anyone, this journey, just taking this journey with me, I appreciate that. You're going to be able to witness from a phone, on a cell phone, simple app. Video will be attached, watch it, check it out. Hope you enjoy, as I said, it costs nothing to you to like, share. If you're not already a subscriber, subscribe. It means the world to me. It means the world to all the dumb money apes and retail traders in the world. You don't have to start with a million dollars. Don't have to start with a hundred thousand. Don't have to wait till you have 10,000. Don't have to wait till you have a thousand dollars. We're starting this. It's not even a challenge. It's a journey. Hundred dollars. See you on the other side of success. All right, so today I'm gonna start with um, Cash App, right? Let's go to Cash App. Uh, it's like three bucks in there. Uh, I'm gonna put a hundred. That's all you need to start. You know, just start where you are. There's people that have a thousand. You can start people that have 10,000. Uh, but here's something, like I said, I'm making this video directly. Uh, you know, if you look at the video, based on the video where a janitor was able to go from, you know, not being a wealthy individual within his lifetime, leaving millions, like he uh, left over $8 million, you know, just based on investing over time strategically dollar cost averaging long-term holding you know and so this is what we're gonna do directly right here now just look at how cool this is right there's stocks they have information but what's powerful here is you kind of see uh, what uh, people are looking at so General Electric Apple McDonald's Disney Visa Walmart Nike AT&T Coca-Cola um, then when you look you could click newly added banking and finance so sector right business services energy ETFs food and drink health uh, media and entertainment shopping sports and gaming technology tourism transportation right you can see what's most traded uh, so things like Tesla, AMC, Amazon, right? Biggest daily movers, AMC up 7%. Previously it was up uh, over 15%. Medelia uh, down 3.59% and Vaxart, which is on our weekly watch list. If you uh, get to check out that video, uh, we'll be having a series of weekly watch lists, but uh, Vaxart definitely on our watch list and it's up uh, still a great play, um, you know, like AMC uh, and others, GLBS. So, yeah, we're going to start with that. And this is what anyone can do. You don't have to start out, you know, no matter what your job, if you're working at McDonald's, Burger, it doesn't matter. You can start, you know, investing in your favorite companies with as little as a dollar, right? But we're going to start with the hundred bucks. It's 932 let's get it in right so we're going now that the uh, funds have been placed straight uh, at the bottom we click uh, the investing now we have different options but you know right now there's a rally going on and we want to take advantage of 
uh, this uptick. So it's pulling back a little bit. However, I don't want to you know, wait for the perfect timing. Um, the market is opening uh, lower a little bit. And all I want to do is get in and, uh, you know, when, when there's a move, uh, there's different levels that this thing could kick to. Not financial advice at all. Just showing you how simple it is to uh, purchase within your app, right? So we're going to be able to, to buy. And that's it. $100. And confirm. We now own $100 of AMC Entertainment, okay? And just like that, uh, we have established a move where our money can make money for us.